Okay. We're almost at the end now. So, I determined that I'm going to use uh, five foot long loops and I've cut six of these lengths of uh, paracord at five feet and they're going along with this uh, tubular webbing is going to form the, uh, the loops on each end of the saddle where I tie in. So we have, uh, we're almost there. We have a few more knots to tie, but so we need three on the on the one side and three on the other. And I think for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these loops and I'm gonna fold them double and even up the ends. And then on, so these, these, um, these, these ends here on the saddle, on the seat portion, are going to pair up with these adjustment uh, cords. And I think for now what I'm going to do is, uh, it's going to be, there's gonna be three pairs on each on each end. It's three pairs on here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair. So you got uh, these three and then these three. And I'm gonna pair this top one with I think with uh, this one. The second one with the fifth. And then the third one with the last on the far end. And probably um, repeat the same pattern on this end. So the top one will be, uh, and I'm going to connect them over here with this, with this knot. I'm just going to, I'm just going to slide this over. And... Pull it through like that. And then I don't know how ultimately how I want these yet. If uh, let's say I want all these um, connected, uh, these three connected this way, and then I put the uh, Prusik on the other three or Every other one, maybe every other one, would give a little more space in between. I'm going to try that for now. So I even this up. And on second thought, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to put all... I'm going to put all these connections, this type, all together like that. And then I'll be able to slide my uh, webbing down over this somewhat. So, and then I'll do this end, I'll change this end, and then I'll go back and change the other end. But... I'm going to have all these, these three together with this type of connection. And then, do these, these three the same way.
Let's see if I can pull all these through in one shot. problem so now just slide this yeah I might be able to get in there might not we'll see but have that and then I'm gonna pull these three through this other one That's where I melted the melted the end here. There. Yeah, I don't need that. So now, I still got to figure out which pairs are together. So, because I think I want to, um, I'm going to put these, I'm going to put these uh, pairs into the Proust, into uh, the Proustic, Proustic together. So, so say for instance, this pair is going to go into a Prusik here, and then this pair will go into another one, and then this pair will go into another. And probably um, this pair will go to this one. So we're going to determine which two are the that. So that's these two. And... Probably can't get those if I can get them one at a time. But we have to tie this Prusik. And I think I found a way to do that here. Somewhat simple, but I'm going to take this. You can uh, do this with a uh, like a Marlin spike or maybe a pencil pen. But uh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around. I'm going to drag this loop around here until I got three. Until I got three on each side. And I'm going to hold this. I have to hold this end and I'm going to pull the I'm going to pull my spike out and I have to come in from this side and reverse that so that this loop is going to end up towards the center of the knot and the same thing on this side I'm going to take these three without losing them and rotate them like this. And there's our Prusik. Like that. And then we'll open these up. 
Uh, you can use a wire. You can use a wire. I mean, once you got this, if you can hold this knot in shape, you could probably feed each one of these through, you know, one at a time. Come all the way through. Once you got one of them in there, you'll, it'll it'll keep its um, it'll keep its shape, and you just you just parallel that line like that. So that's that's our friction hitch. That's this will be our uh, our adjustment to. Uh, to draw these ends in tighter. So the other thing, one last thing we want to do on each one of these is we want to tie a stopper knot. I, uh, I chose, I think they call this a Matthew Walker. And uh, it's kind of a, it ends up neat that the two ends end up pointing the same direction. But we take, we take this Two strands side by side. We take this one and form a loop this way. And then we take this one. And um, let's see. We pass it. Pass it in there. And then we take this one. Let's see. Right there. I think we pass it, we pass it like that, and then this one will come in here like that, and then we continue this around, and we'll put this end into this loop, and put this end into this loop. Then we get done. We should be able to pull. And dress this down and it'll look like it'll look like that. It'll look like that. It's not critical. I mean you could if you don't want to mess with it, you could come through and and do a uh, you know, lay them side by side and, and do an overhand. But we just don't want this sliding through this Prusik, so this is our stopper for that. That's our max adjustment right there. So I'm going to do that uh, what, five more times. And we should have, uh, I'm going to work these, um, I'm going to work these ends into here. And do this five more times, and we should have a saddle to uh, to to try out. I'll put it on, and um, there'll be there'll still be some more tensioning and tweaking. But uh, I'll go ahead and finish this up, and then uh, I'll be back, and I'll show that show the pretty much a finished saddle. So here it is, pretty much done. I'm gonna take it out, and take it outside in a minute and uh, put my weight on it. But uh, sorry about this shadow. I like to uh, I like to film when they have uh, sunlight, but I ran out of that today. So, but anyway, here's the original. And the original was okay, it worked, but it, um, it was one size, so I couldn't put it over top of my bibs. Um, I had times where it was, uh, it was kind of a bit too tight, but, uh. It served the purpose, and it got us to this point. 
here's the new one it has um it's a bit it's wider it should be a bit wider this way not a lot but and the seat is why it's, it's bigger in both directions so this one the original ends it's about 18 inches in, or so it's three inch uh three inch gap so we got three six 18 inches and this one is three more inches on uh on each side also has adjustments so i have uh three prusik hitches on each uh each loop on the end here and i can slide them up and i can do that on both ends Like that, and I have a saddle for a smaller waist, and then uh, I can also loosen up both ends. But I think uh, the way I'm going to, the way I envision using this now is uh you know until i until i know what size to set it i'll have it i'll have it longer i'm gonna go out there now and i'm gonna have it set long and uh, i'll bring the loops together and attach it to the tree here and then i'll go tension these um for comfort but uh there's it's kind of a break in um it's gonna be a break in with this no matter what. All these knots have gotta kinda of gotta stabilize and uh kind of kinda of settle in and then I can go back and uh set like uh straighten them out like say for instance on this la let's see. That end was Get which end which end was uh a little bit a little bit nasty yeah, i guess this end so we have some inconsistent gaps here so what i'm going to do is uh put some weight on it and get all these uh knots to tighten up and then i can come back and go through it and tweak everything but uh this is it. Uh, if you uh, if you use this idea, I wish you good hunting. Uh, be safe. Um, and uh, that's it i'm gonna go i'm gonna try it out and we'll see uh see how it works thanks for stopping by